Hey, on the men's end, the formerly number one ranked Aztecs were taking Morton College on of Illinois inside of the Kino Sports Complex main stadium. This after a loss yesterday to a team from Iowa. So the men had to win today by four goals to have a chance to advance to the final four. And check out coach Dave Cosgrove and his Pima men Aztecs at the break as they would trail 3-2 heading into the second half. And early on, Jacob Garcia from Sawaritas. Walden Grove is dribbling his way forward, trying to make something happen, but unfortunately he would be denied as the home of FC Tucson continued to host the big games. Games that get quite physical as Ernesto Osorio is shoved to the ground. Where's the yellow card? Well, the yellow card would come right here, but it just would not be enough this time around for Pima College. In the end, the Aztecs come up a bit short as the defending national champs are defeated in their hometown against Morton College in Illinois. Final score, three to two. Hey, the football season has seemed to whiz right by, not only at the college level, but at the prep side of the coin as well. It'll be our last Friday football fever of 2022 in just two days. It's the playoffs. And despite going seven and three this season, Sunnyside High School barely missed out on the postseason. But the Blue Devils went out with a bang. That's where we find Dion Conde as the Clipper Automotive Player of the Week. Here's David Kelly with more. Hey, thanks, Paul. Sunnyside quarterback Dion Conde saved his best for last. He had never thrown for 300 yards in a high school football game until the Blue Devils season finale against Flowing Wells. A 379 yard six touchdown performance for Dion Conde and Sunnyside's 47 to nothing win. And Dion joins us now. Dion, what a way to end your high school career. How do you put that game into words? Thinking that it was my last game and knowing it was my last, my last game, it was it was a lot of fun. Once I started playing and I started getting a lot better, I had a lot more fun and just the lessons that you are able to learn. He is our Clipper Automotive Player of the Week, Dion Conde from Sunnyside High School. Dion, continued success and best of luck. Thank you. Paul Dion finished the season with 14 touchdown passes in his last three games. All games, the Blue Devils won. Hey, thanks a lot, David, and congrats to Sunnyside coach Thomas Romack for a 7-3 season in his first year with the Blue Devils. And a quick reminder, the U of A men's basketball team takes on Utah State on Thursday night at McHale Center. And for the women's game on Friday night against Loyola Marymount, don't forget, it is Native American Heritage Night. There will be a special halftime performance and lots of giveaways. Plenty of tickets are still available. I'm Paul Sikala. We'll be right back.